We spend a lot of time every day collecting, researching, and sharing stories, fables, and folklore, love stories, adventure stories, nothing but good news coming out of Costa Rica. And we present these stories to you through our Costa Rica Pura Vida Lifestyle podcast series each and every day. We've been doing this for about two and a half years now and have recorded well over 1,500 episodes. We also have a website at CostaRicaGoodNewsReport.com. That's Costa Rica goodnewsreport.com. I invite you to take a look. On the site, you will find links to our YouTube channel, our short story page, to our many venues for our podcast series, and so much more. And if you want to move to Costa Rica, we even can assist you with that. We've been helping individuals and families make their move to Costa Rica and also with their residency and legal status for well over 15 years now. And we try to make visiting and living in Costa Rica fun. We give you an all-around look as to what it would be like to live here or just visit here for the first time. And if you're here already, then we want to make you aware of things perhaps that you don't know about yet uh, to make your life more fulfilling in your own backyard. And we do this while keeping the bad news out. We focus on the good news only. And if you want bad news or negative information, then turn me off right now. I, I don't have any for you. So now it's time to get your coffee poured and take that first sip and join in. If we can put a quick smile on your face, then we've done our job here. Here's today's good news quickie. Again, nothing but good news coming out of Costa Rica. Yo lavo, yo lavo. For quite a while, when I first arrived in Costa Rica, I didn't know what this meant. Not only did I not know what it meant, I didn't understand why the woman of the house uttered these words when I tried to help clean up after dinner at friends and neighbors' homes. With most of our upbringing, after a meal, we were expected to help with the dishes, at least I was in my house, clearing the table, washing the dishes, putting them away, and cleaning the tabletop. This was standard practice since I was old enough to carry a plate, perhaps since I was four years old. When I am at a friend's home and they prepare dinner for me, I always volunteer to help with clearing the table, washing the dishes, and putting everything away. It's a thank you for inviting me over. And I found, however, in Costa Rica, in many Latina homes, instilled deep within their culture, the woman, or the women, I should say, are burdened with doing the dishes after a meal. It feels rather odd to me, and I always insist on helping anyway, and my one friend, Juan Carlos, and his wife, Milena, they're neighbors and they're good friends. Uh, We invite one another over for dinner ongoing, perhaps twice a week. When I go to their home, I always help with the dishes, and after a few years of this, Milena's getting used to the after-dinner help. Really, it really assists her. She's not burdened with 45 dishes, you know. And now, because of me, Juan is the point man for helping with the dishes. For 20 years, he would eat and then retire to his living room to relax and put his feet up. And Milena was tasked with cleaning up. And I'm proud to say that I helped change this tradition in their home. And Juan, he's kind of getting used to it right now. So anyway, just wanted to tell you that little story. And uh, Pura Vida, thanks for listening. And we'll see you tomorrow.